Hey guys, what's going on? It's Corey here, and I've got my kids doing some homework while we're at home. And while they're doing that, I'm gonna do a little upper body mobility for my shoulders. So we're gonna get the cat to cycle set up here. Get the armbands on. I got the left armband on. While they're doing a little homework on the computer. I'm gonna sit here on the floor. I'm gonna stretch out a little bit. Okay, got the left one on, got the right one on. This is Shoulder Mobility by Dr. Corey. Turn on the cat too. We're gonna do pro low. First cycle, we're gonna do deep breathing and Shoulder blade circles. So up, back, down, and around. I'll turn so you guys can see me. Remember, nice deep breaths. Pull up, pull back, pull down. And around, up, back, down. Take a deep breath. Pull back, now go the other way forward. Back, down, up, forward. Okay, cycle number two. This time we're gonna do some down and up. So scapular depression and shrugging. So, can you guys see me back there? All right, so raise up, push down. Take a deep breath, raise up, push shoulder blades back, push down into the floor and gently lift your butt up. Take a deep breath, push shoulder blades back, down, push down, just roll around, good, take a deep breath, bring it up, back, down, around, good, so that was shrugging and depression, now we're going to do protraction and retraction, so for this, we're going to pull our shoulder blades back, yeah, down, and then reach forward, so shoulder blades back, deep breath, Turn again, pull them back for retraction, slide them around, and then reach forward. Take a deep breath. Hold out that stomach. We're still on cycle three. Doing pretty good. Okay, so next we're gonna do key turns. So this is for upward and downward scapular mobility. So you're gonna put your hands out like you've got two keys on the wall. You're gonna roll your shoulder blades up, roll them down. Roll them up, roll them down. Roll them up, roll them down. So think about taking your elbow crease right here and dumping it over and pulling it around. You need to pull your shoulder blades back a little bit. That's cool. You don't want to be way out in front trying to roll them. That's going to hurt. So find the nice, happy, medium, neutral. Yeah. Up and down. Remember, deep breathe. Up. Good, Run around a little bit. Okay, is that the release? Good, now we're on cycle five. We're going to do the upward and downward with the butt lift. So now, what you're going to do, let's see if you guys can see me. Don't mind this little guy here. So, push shoulder blades back, down, push up, and down. Push up, down, deep breath. Push down. You really want to engage the muscles in your armpits as you push down. Again, even if you don't get your butt all the way up off the ground, that's okay. Just upward and downward rotation. Okay, so up next, we're gonna do a little weight shifting. I'm gonna put the cycle on my belt so you guys see this. So, get into a girly push up position. Sorry, buddy. You're gonna do weight shifting side to side, side to side. So slide your shoulder blade back and forth. You don't need to be in a full push-up position, just side to side, and then gradually bend your elbows, lower yourself down. A little weight shift, a little tap. So down, up, and tap. Down, up, tap. So this is a weight shift 
with a push up and a shoulder tap. Okay, so what we got next? Now we're gonna do more of a child's pose. So if you need something for your knees, it's okay. So I got a towel here. I don't need a whole yoga mat, but just a little manly towel. So point your toes, you're gonna rock back. This time you're gonna put your hands in front, rock back and forth. And load those shoulders, pull your shoulders forward and up. Exhale. Deep breath as you load those shoulders. You can do another shoulder weight shifting here if you want. You can do a little bit of a push up, but you're just rocking back. Tuck your head through your arms, your back and forth. All right, so we're, I think we're on cycle number eight. So, this last one, we're going to thread the needle. So, hands and knees position, take a deep breath. Reach through as far as you can. Take a deep breath. Breathe into the stretch as you exhale. Stretch a little bit more. And then open up. Load the arm. Reach through. Exhale. Breathe into the stretch. As you exhale, sink into it a little bit more. And open up. Oh, that's a good one. Let's try and do a little bit more. See there. You can do a whole eight round cycle just doing that one alone. And that will make your back and shoulders feel a hundred times better. Doing that every day. Oh, that's good. Open up. Okay. And that's it. So that was just the basic shoulder blade mobility exercise. So now I'm gonna keep these bands on and I got a little bit more time. These kids are still being happy. So we're gonna do a couple more things.